Now my pleasure to recognize and introduce and please join me in a warm welcome for Congressman John Shimkus. Doug and Jill, thanks for having me here today. Um, I've been thinking, oh, why do we have memorials? We have memorials so we, we don't forget. We also have memorials to tell a story. The memorial we see behind is to uh, remember to say thanks to those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. But it's also to say thanks to those who answered the call to serve. In today's military, it's a volunteer military. We haven't had a draft in a long time. So that makes uh, the folks uh, who are deployed around the world today even more amazing or incredible in that many of the folks who are deployed in dangerous areas know what they're getting themselves into. Volunteered to go to some of the, the most uh, far away places, the most deserted areas in answering a call to serve. Memorials also help tell the story to our young men and women who someday in the future may be asked to answer that call to serve again. So when we have all the great uh, programs that we do in this facility down here in the park, this memorial will stand and our young men and women will, will be able to look at it and and see the sacrifice that we have done. But I've also thought about another issue that um, is just very important. You know, I wear my, my veteran hat because I serve. I actively and in the reserves. But you know, I also, I also serve without a hat on. And I serve as a public policy individual. And I'm glad my friend Bill Haynes here today because he helped correct me on Catholic heritage and saints and stuff. So I was getting them kind of confused. I am a confessional Lutheran, so uh, St. Thomas Aquinas who coined the just war theory. And it's a way in which public policy folks try to define whether when we go to war is it just and right. Well, the memorial behind us, you can tell that sometimes it doesn't matter because the results are the same Our young men and women fall in service to their country. But the memorial will also stand for those of us who are public policy makers, decision makers, that cast votes on war, who spend the money to go to war, on whether that war is just or right. So there's a twofold purpose here, thanking those who answered the call to serve and reminding folks like me and those who come after me that we better get it right. Thank you. God bless you. God bless the United States of America.